Right, I've uh, produced this video, it's Mr. T here, um, just to show you how to carry out uh, a titration calculation. Uh, I guess the first most important thing here is that we notice that here's our data, it's been recorded from our titration. Uh, I will work out my titers by subtracting my initial away from my final. Uh, notice all of these results are in millilitres and I've put that in the title at the top. Um, and uh, just make sure we keep it nice and tidy and that we put zeros in as placeholders when we need to. Okay, there are a couple of things to point out with this titration data. The first one is if you look at our rough result, it's always going to be a little bit bigger than the actual result we would expect. This is because we weren't anticipating exactly where the titration would stop. Notice this tight is quite a, a bit larger than what we'd expect at this time in the titration. This is most likely due to a reading error uh, when we're titrating. Okay, to get our title results uh, in an excellence range, uh, that is a range of, of 0.1 millilitres and also close enough to the standard value, we're really looking for three results here that are uh, within a range of 0.1. Right, to work out the volume of permanganate that was added here, we take the three concordant results, we divide them by their number, that's three, and we get our final answer. After carrying out the titration, we know three physical quantities. Uh, the volume of iron solution, we pipetted up 10 mils, or 0 .1, 0 0.01 litres. The concentration of the standard, which was 0 0.102, and the volume of our permanganate, 16.55 millilitres were titrated, or 0 0.01655 litres. Right, now what we need to do is work out the moles of our standard solution that uh, was erected in the titration. Well, we do that by multiplying the concentration times the volume of the standard solution. Here we get uh, 1.02 times 10 to negative 3. Uh, we usually put this in standard form. Okay, once we've worked out the moles of the standard, the Fe2 plus here, we can use a balanced redox equation to work out the moles of the unknown, in this case a permanganate. Um, to do that, we look at the ratios of the two. Here we've got uh, 1 MnO4 to 5 Fe2 pluses. Um, so I write this down, rearrange the equation, and I work out the moles of my permanganate. Always refer back to the initial uh, redox equation. And notice here that uh, we expect that the amount of iron should be five times bigger than the amount of permanganate. Look at the amount that you worked out for the permanganate, check it back to the iron to make sure you're correct. In this case, we can see that the moles of our iron uh, two pluses, 1.02 times 10 to negative 3, that is five times bigger than the moles of our permanganate, which is two times. 10 to the negative 4, so we're going to be pretty certain that we have uh, the correct answer here, we've done the ratios around the right way. Right, we now have the moles of the solution of the uh, unknown concentration. Now we can work out its concentration by uh, dividing the moles by the volume. The volume that we used uh, was, in this case, what we titled from the burette. Um, you'll notice that our answer here is uh, we're going to get is four significant figures. Uh, that's because we haven't rounded until this point. Now, we want to have our answers to three significant figures, so we're going to round our answer at the end. So here you'll see our answer now is 0 0.0121 moles per litre.